Hello, DC fans. Today, we're going to talk about why I think the Penguins timeline management is top tier. I mean, some of the best I've ever seen. Now, there will be spoilers for pretty much every episode, but as long as you're okay with that, then let's dive right in and see what we can find out. Don't forget, we have a November contest running all month long. Be a subscriber, leave a comment, and five random winners can choose from a book or a steelbook. Best of luck. And we have a membership option with lots of cool perks, so you might check it out in case you're interested. All right, to talk about the Penguins timeline, we really need to start with the Batman's timeline because they're very interconnected. So when does the Batman take place? Well, Bruce tells us when the movie starts, Thursday, October 31st. We see him writing in his journal, Thursday, October. And in fact, he's closing out the month of October in year two. We also see that the election is November 5th. That's a very important date, not only in the Batman, but also in the Penguin. And it's the same day that Carmine Falcone is gunned down. And we see that the Riddler's live stream indicates Tuesday the 5th, very consistent. And finally, Bruce tells us when the movie ends, Wednesday, November 6th. And that is the day after the city was flooded because now the city is underwater. So the key dates are October 31st, November 5th, and November 6th. And the days of the week, Thursday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, actually align to the IRL calendar for 2019. So it certainly seems like the movie was originally planned to occur in 2019. In fact, we do get at least one 2019 date. Selena has an eviction notice, and notice that it's dated 10-19-2019. So I do believe that was when they originally planned for the movie to happen in their timeline. Then COVID hit, right? And COVID messed up the Batman's timeline, but it messed up everything. Everything was delayed. And in fact, the movie didn't come out until finally March 4th of 2022. Crazy. So it seems like midway through working on the movie, they decided to make it 2021. So here are the reasons why. Let's look at this. So Thomas and Martha Wayne's murder gets some coverage on the news. Gotham has been rocked. It was 20 years ago this week that they were slain during Wayne's own mayoral campaign. So 20 years ago, and in fact, here is Wayne's uh, campaign commercial, and notice it's dated 2001. So 2001 plus 20, 2021. And it is worth noting that IRL, there was a New York City mayoral election in 2021. And I realize it's Gotham, not New York, although I've seen many articles saying that Gotham was based on New York originally. So Okay, that's a little more evidence for 2021. Also, we see that the Riddler has written a Friday, July 16th journal entry. Well, July 16th is a Friday in 2021. So originally, remember those days of the week were aligned to the 2019 calendar. Now they've been shifted to align to 2021, although they didn't change the other dates. They just changed this one, which is pretty wild. All right, so then we also have this movie poster, which I realize that's not canon per se, but this is really specific, right? It's got a date on it of 11-4 of 2021, which fits perfectly with the movie. So it does seem that because of the delay of 2022 for the movie, that they shifted from 2019 to 2021. They did not, however, shift the days of the week. Those still align with the 2019 calendar, so... uh, They have to keep them, though, because Bruce used them in the movie, right? He said Thursday and Wednesday, literally, and Tuesday was even in the movie. So they're going to keep those days, but they've now shifted to 2021. All right, so now let's move to the Penguin. So Matt Reeves gave us some information about the timing for the Penguin in a promo. He says, I really wanted the story to begin a week after the movie. Okay, that's helpful. The movie ended November 6th, so a week later would be November 13th. So we'll see if we find that when we get to the episodes. Also, he gave an interview with Collider, and he said, ugh, election day was November 7th. All right, so he got that wrong, but he's correct in saying that it takes place, the show, a week after that. Remember, the election was November 5th, but that's okay. This is just an interview. It's not the show, so it's fine. Uh, But yeah, forget the November 7th. The only reason I'm bringing it up is I just didn't want anyone to be confused if they saw this interview and said, wait, 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 you got this wrong. No, Matt Reeves just made a small mistake. But this part is very important. He says the story plays out, you know, really toward over the next weeks that take you toward the end of the year. And I don't think we quite get to, you know, playing in Christmas or New Year's, but we're getting close. So the bottom line is he's told us it's a week after the Batman and that goes from that point until probably into December. So we're going to see that they give us really specific information throughout the series. I love it. Okay, so when does the Penguin happen? So episode one tells us the flood was a week ago. It's been a week since the terrorist known as the Riddler blew up Gotham's seawall. 
Very helpful. So we're keeping that consistent. It was a week ago. But what year is it? Well, this is interesting. So Carmine has files with dates in 2022. I realize it's very blurry. I had to zoom it and you still can't see it real well, but that's only the first time we see 2022. We're going to see it a lot more. Oz's license plate expiration is 12-10-2022. And Vic's license was issued on 10-23 of 2022. So goodbye 2021. <laughs> Hello 2022. So now that means the Batman movie was in 2022. It's shifted twice, but that's fine. From this point on, we are now locked in for 2022. And again, that Thursday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, those are very consistent. And we're going to see the days of the week for all of the episodes practically in The Penguin. It's really cool. So Carmine has been dead for a week because that's Alberto telling uh, Penguin about that. And that's consistent because he died on November 5th. And once Alberto is killed by The Penguin, this is really interesting. The, the, the current day that shows up on his phone is November 13th. So we know that Alberto was killed on November 13th. And then I love this. The calendar matches the Batman's days of the week. What do I mean by that? Remember, the Thursday, the Tuesday, and the Wednesday, particularly the Tuesday, November 5th. Notice, November 5th is a Tuesday. And November 6th is a Wednesday. That's so cool. I love how they use the calendar to go, okay, I know we've changed it a few times, <laughs> but here is exactly what our calendar is. And we also see that there is a shipment. We'll learn more about that in a moment. And it is on Monday the 18th. So that's very helpful coming up. All right, so episode two. The flood is shown as happening on November 5th, and that's correct. That's when it happened in the movie. And we see Carmine's death. They show it as November 5th of 2022. I love how they use the mausoleum to give us all these important dates. And Alberto Falcone was killed on November 13th of 2022. So that's now consistent. But we're not done. We're going to come back to these again in a really cool way. I love it. All right, so now we move a couple days forward in episode two to the point where Alberto's funeral is tomorrow. Your brother's funeral is tomorrow. And in fact, on the day of Alberto's funeral, they give us the date, Saturday, November 16th. So you see what I mean, how they keep giving us these dates, either on phones or calendars, etc., so we can keep up with where we are in the timeline. Also, showing us it's a Saturday, the Penguin's mom, who was suffering from dementia, thought it was Sunday. She was telling me she was late for Mass. She didn't know it isn't Sunday. So that's really cool. All right, so episode three is actually a flashback episode to Election Day. Very consistent, Tuesday, November 5th. And in fact, we see uh, on the refrigerator down there a calendar showing us again 2022. So all very, very consistent. Episode three then is the night of the shipment. Remember they had told us that was on Monday the 18th. So we know where we are on the timeline. I thought this was just picking up a shipment, uh, says Penguin. So then we get to the only minor, and I mean minor error in the, they have in the timeline. So Sophia is told basically, you got to get out of town and you got two days to do it. And here's your airline reservations. In fact, there's a date specifically on here of when she needs to get out of there. It's Thursday, November 20th of 2022. Well, 2022, that's perfect. And Thursday actually works because that's two days after the present day. However, Thursday should be November 21st. I only bring that up because we need to know exactly what days we're talking about, and I'm going to be referring to Thursday the 21st later. So minor, minor thing. Otherwise, it's been perfect so far. And in fact, here, uh, she's being told again, two days. You have two days to get out of town. So the clock is ticking for Sophia. And then they go on a meeting, uh, Sophia and Oz, with Zhao. And notice they give us the date again. I love it. Tuesday, November 19th. In fact, see, that shows you. If Tuesday is November 19th, obviously Thursday is the 21st. So just a small error again on that flight reservation. Okay, so this is really cool. So episode four gives us some flashbacks for Sophia. The first one is when her mom dies in 1994, and she explains that she was nine. When I was nine, she took her life. And here you can see her discovering her mom's dead body. Very sad. But how do we know it's 1994? Because we know when she died, March 20th of 1994. In fact, we know the exact day. That's really cool. So that's part of the flashback. The second part of the flashback is when Sophia is sent to Arkham, and that is in September 5th of 2012. So how do we know that? Well, first of all, she says, you still haven't told me what you want for your birthday to her dad, Carmine. Well, her dad's birthday is September 5th. Isn't that cool? So we can literally use his birthday there to know uh, when she's going to end up being sent to Arkham, so September 5th. And then, if there was any doubt, they show us her little prison photo there uh, when she gets booked. And sure enough, 
nine five of 2012. So consistent with the, the date of uh, Carmine's birthday. Love that. And we know it was 10 years ago because uh, she tells us that, right? So 2012 plus 10 years, 2022 for the present year. I love it. For 10 years, men have lied to me, she says. Also, when she confronts the family, she reinforces everything we've seen so far. I believe the last time we were all together was my father's birthday, September 5th, 10 years ago, 2012. I love it. That is so cool. And she says, tomorrow, I'm starting a new life. Why is that important? Because tomorrow is the day she's supposed to leave town. That's the Thursday date she's supposed to get out. In fact, she reinforces that a little earlier in the episode when she says, if I'm not on a plane to Sicily by tomorrow, yeah, she's in trouble if she doesn't get out. Okay, great. So what does she do? No, she doesn't leave. She kills the whole family that night. So then now uh, in episode four, we see her covering her tracks the morning of Thursday the 21st when she was supposed to have left town. Instead, she's killed everyone. So, episode five, we see her talking to the police, and that's again the morning of Thursday the 21st. We also see Oz kidnapping Taj, and he's going to use him as bait uh, to get at the, the, the Moronis. Uh, and then we know it's the same day because when he brings Taj back, sure enough, they're watching news reports of what Sophia has just done. You see what I mean? How they just tie this together so you know exactly where you are in the timeline. It's just so cool. So then he goes to threaten the Moronis and say, basically, I'll give you Taj if you give me my mushrooms back, which of course the mushrooms were the, the, the drugs that he was using uh, to build his empire. So he says, we meet early before sunrise for the exchange. So they're gonna meet the next day, which is Friday the 22nd. And instead of uh, a peaceful exchange, he gets his mushrooms, but he also gets revenge as he kills uh, Taj and his mother. And that is on the morning of Friday the 22nd. So then by the evening of Friday the 22nd, welcome to our new base of operations. Oz is ready to roll. Now, when we move to episode six, this is the first time they have not held our hand and told us exactly how much time has passed. We know some decent time has passed because Oz's operation is up and running and it's snowing. However, leave it to the Penguin official podcast to answer our question. So how much time has passed? Uh, they're asked. Nick says it's been 10 days. I mean, right? And Dan says, yep, it's been 10 days. Okay, thank you. That's perfect. We now know it's been 10 days later. So that moves us to December the 2nd. And at the end of episode six, there's the beer summit <laughs> that uh, Oz has with all of his new allies, for, and they're ready to take back Gotham. So then we move to episode seven. Now this, as well as episode eight, has a flashback for the Penguin, and we know exactly the year because they talk about Beetlejuice being in the movie theater and his brother's going to watch it. Or at least he's lying about it, obviously, but he said his brothers went to go watch it. So episode seven is also when Sophia blows up the operations, uh, which Oz had now started, and that's on Tuesday the 3rd because it's the next day. And finally, in episode eight, Sophia is double-crossed by Penguin. Uh, we thought she was going to die. Instead, she's arrested for a fate worse than death, to be honest. And that's the night of Tuesday the 3rd, taking us finally to Sophia sitting in jail the morning of Wednesday the 4th. And we know it's the morning because of the light coming in the window. So yeah, it's definitely the next day. And of course, that's when the penguin ends up on top, Wednesday the 4th. Gotham's yours, sweetheart, he's told. Well, he's on the top at least, but not for long. <laughs> because that night we see the bat signal. So cool, right? Such a great timeline. So to summarize the key dates, if we take the Batman's key dates, we have October 31st, November 5th, and November 6th, and the Penguin then starts November 13th, maybe a little bit in November 12th, but definitely November 13th for the most part, most important thing of, of Alberto dying, and then ends Wednesday, December 4th. So yeah, we are ready now for the Batman. It's going to be a little while. I think it's going to be a year and a half or so before it comes out, but it's going to be winter time sometime after December 4th. Just such a cool timeline. This is how you do it. I mean, it just made it fun to look for these little hints, add them all together, and follow along in the timeline. Kudos, kudos to Matt Reeves and crew. Let me know your thoughts. Is this the best timeline management you've ever seen for a show or a movie for that matter? Also, don't forget, November contest. Be a subscriber, leave a comment, and you can get that book or steel book. And there's the membership option in case you're interested in that. And lastly, I always love to mention the Discord. Here we are literally talking about the timeline management for 
um, the, the Penguin Show. It was really fun chatting on the Discord and you know debating how many days have gone by, what clues did you see? It was a lot of fun. So I will leave a pinned comment so you can join the conversation as well. 1,900 members across the globe, conversations 24-7, and we want you to be part of it. Also, if you don't mind, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. You can check out more content, and we will all eagerly await the next entry in the Batman universe.